Hello everyone, I am the Absent Minded Gamer, and today we are going to play Titan Quest Eternal Embers. Now we are taking a legendary hero, level 70. We will start at the beginning of the uh, DLC act, and we are going to uh, pair a couple of uh, masteries together in what I consider um, the best um, starting class. Now, if you watch my previous um, video, um, that is not the class we are going to play. All right, so we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to show you exactly what I pick. We are going with um, the Niden Mastery. So we're going to max out the uh, Mastery Bar. And I'm going to pair it with, you guessed it, Green. Okay, so we've maxed both mastery bars. Let's start with uh, the Niden mastery. And why are we picking this mastery? Well, the main reason is Aura of Tranquility. Because at 12 points, that gives us 27% damage absorption. Yes, it's a very big energy cost, but we can cope with that. That is not a problem. All right, now what else are we going to take in this tree? Well, we are going to take Shenpo. So this is going to be our, um, well, one of our damage abilities, uh, the only one from this particular tree. We are going to max out consequences because that's going to uh, let us punch through uh, enemy resistances. And we just put one point into mutual suffering, which will spread uh, debuff um, around enemies uh, when we kill one. So anything else? Well, we can... Um, Pointing to this, uh, we could even max it out. We are going to max out Weakest Chakra because this is a really nice um, damage um, defensive um, ability. So, you know, really tough um, fights, pop that, you uh, survive a little bit longer. Okay, so let's switch to Dream Mastery. So, we are going to max out Trance of Convalescence. Because that gives us another 15% damage absorption upon on top of the 27% we've already got from an item mastery. That's what makes these two masteries so nice together. Especially when you haven't got great gear. Because you get nice defensive abilities. So we're maxing out Lucid Dream. Because again, it's a um, nice mixture of offense and uh, defensive abilities. Um, got some slow resistance. Uh, defensive ability, offensive ability. Nice. All right. But our main offensive ability, our left click um, ability, is going to be Psionic Pinch. We're going to max out all its synergies, including Psionic Beam, um, which does mean we're restricted to staves, but um, that's not a problem uh, because we can get a nice stave which synergizes with Psionic Beam um, and. Um, Electric burn damage that we've got from Lucid Dream very nicely. All right, so distortion field. Yes, we put eight points into that as well. It's only got five percent chance of activating, but it's more damage absorption, so really good. And that is about it from this tree. All right, so back to Nine Mastery. What did we miss? Well, we missed Smoke Cloud. All right, so that gives us a little bit of um, crowd control. So we can pop that when we're surrounded by enemies. And we've still got nine points to spend. Well, let's put a point each into a potent elixir. So that gives us a little bit of um, energy regen and health regen when we pop a potion. We could put a point into conversions. Um, why don't we do that? And yeah, we'll put the rest of the points into a blessing of Jing Shan. All right, so there we go. We are ready. Well, almost. All right, so let's set our skills. We're going to set both um, weapon slots um, to uh, Sonic Touch. We want our auras. So, Transfer Convalescence, Tranquility. And then we've got our other abilities. So, Smoke Cloud, Weakest Chakra. All right, and we're uh, pretty much ready to go at that. We haven't got any equipment though, so let's go and find our starting equipment. 
request giver here you can talk to you can listen to him if you want to we're just going to uh, on. basically there's a big winged monster i.e a dragon who is causing a lot of distress and damage to the locals so we will be hunting down the dragon amongst other things Now, once we get down this path, we will find a couple of chests. Oh, that's the wrong way. Down here. And these chests are going to give us some um, decent free gear. All right, so what have we got? Well, we've got four, four epic pieces, but each of those epic pieces give us minus 20% experience. So minus 80% experience whilst we wear these. But we're going to have to wear them to begin with. Right, we also need to equip this staff, which we need 104 intelligence. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to dump a load of our points into intelligence because that is also going to buff our damage. Okay, we will leave 100 points um, left over for the moment. Now, why am I doing that? Well, we might find something that we that needs a lot of dex or a lot of strength and uh, just gives us a bit of flexibility and we don't need to dump any more points into intelligence just yet so let's leave it at that and crack on so just come up this path go through a little cave and then we will meet our first monsters okay so we've got a rebirth fountain there so you can spot those on the little mini map the red mark Purple, that is a portal, and then uh, these are um, sort of quest items, quest monsters. In this case, they are quest monsters. All right, let's pop our uh, second aura. All right, so you can see our energy is dropping very slowly, so we can't quite sustain the energy, but um, we mostly can. It's just not, not a problem. All right, and then Silent Beam. Shampoo. And start killing our enemies. Like so, not too bad. Another couple up here. Alright, there we go. So we can cope with general mobs. Now if you go in here, as you've seen in my previous video, we've got a couple of portals. That one takes you to Greece, that one takes you to Ragnarok, and from Ragnarok you can get to Atlantis. Um, so if you want to do that, um, all right. Don't by all thoughts. means, Just be sure and have get those, um, you can tag the portals in those um, relevant places. We're not going to bother doing that um, on this run. So let's um, monsters here. Now let's set our red filter. We will get rid of all the whites. Get rid of all the yellows as well. But... You want to play it a little bit careful if you um, don't want to die. It's not really a problem uh, dying occasionally, and um, we probably will do in this run. Um, but we're going to try not to. Potion. So you see that shower of gold, that is triggered from this ability here, Blessing of Jing Shan. So if you want to farm extra gold, pump points into that. So we're just going to run through all these mobs, 
definitely don't want to be uh, fighting stuff that we're not really getting any XP for. Up here, I think. And um, okay, so you see, we've got a rebirth fountain up there. That tells us that's the direction we want to head in. There we go. And when you see these um, sort of flame pillars as well, you know you're on the right track. All right, we've got another quest giver. Not going to die young. Quit jabbering nonsense. She knows you can uh, listen to him if you want. We're going to. Uh, because he's just talking more about the dragon or the winged flying beast as he calls it I tend to restrict myself to some birth, greens and legendaries you're not allowed to get anything um, good it has to be said um, from these little chests you want majestic chests um, yeah, basically for the boss encounters Like these, because they put nets down, pin you in place, you can't go away. That's normally how you get killer. Right now, we're going to make our way through these bridges, not that way, lots of dead ends. Okay, so not too bad. We were able to uh, cope with those. Now, which way do we want to go? Looks like. No, it's not over there, is it? So that was a dead end. Got another bridge here, though. And if you're doing what I'm doing and just running through them, you've got to be careful. It's that sort of thing can happen. And if you've got too many chasing you, you're going to be in trouble. We are. In serious trouble. If that net doesn't move. I think we've survived. That was a little bit close for comfort. Those nets. Okay, now we found a staff. It's not the uh, it's not the one we're looking for, but uh, let's just um look it's because it's probably better than what we've got possibly better than what we've got so i couldn't the one they give you does lots of poison damage which you know we're, we're not really getting any benefit from that but it does have um, some decent resistances um, and energy regen which this one doesn't have it's got uh, no that's no good um, let's equip it anyway it does a lot more damage. Pet the Kraken. What have we got there? Red Coast Helm, that's not what we're looking for. You get a lot of these Red Coast Helms. We should also um, start to get some saves as well. Okay, 
just in case we get lucky, which we don't. Uh, over here. I think this might be the area where we can get the stave we're looking for. Um, ooh, too many monsters there. Let's make a start here. You go through a lot of um, health potion, it has to be said. So we are after. I think it's the skeletal mages. So I like that chap there. Drop what we want. Carry on. Whoa. Run away. Yeah, I've got a quest monster up here. That's um so we need to take this a little bit carefully. To, so we're going to clear our way rather than just run through these mobs. Remember to use our potions. Right, so we've got the hero monster there. It's not on there, Phantasm. We ran out of energy, which is turned off deeper. Let's just put that on. Right, nothing interesting has dropped. We yeah, we came through here, didn't we? So Let's just crack on. So we're going to come up here because there you see we've got the uh, flame pillar. So we know that this is the way to go. We're dead. That was clearly a bad place to uh, fight them. Well, that staff does vitality damage. Um, which our Dream Mastery um, buffs does 45% vitality damage. Um, so that's probably going to be better than what we've got at the moment. What's the base damage? So fire versus cold. I suppose this one slows the enemy a little bit, so it's not a massive difference between the two. So maybe we're better actually sticking with the purple green one for the moment. It shouldn't be long before we uh, stack up. Yeah, 
this is a dead end up here. Hero. Let's hope he's wearing something nice. No, it's not. This is real. Wow! Wow! That took our health down quickly. It's thirty percent damage to humankind. That's us. So that's a new um, damage modifier uh, in this expansion, Humankind. Which the Knight of Mastery has access to. But it's not, uh, it's not one that we're um, going to make use of in, uh, in our build. If you want to make use of it, uh, rather than uh, going to it being like we've done, you would uh, use Landry's Favour. So uh, that has plus 10% damage um, at level 1 to humankind. And if you put more points into it, I think it uh, gives you much more than that. Alright, let's just get up those and put some loot boxes down here. It's still nice to uh, crack open these little boxes um, to get components. So, you know, like these legendary um, pieces, which you can com combine together, and you might get, um, you know, something that you can apply to uh, some of your armor and weapons, just to help you a little bit. So, um, you've got to get five generally, so we need another one of those, and then. Uh, of G that we could apply to uh, some of our equipment. Anyway, let's move on. We still haven't found our staff.
Voilà. This stuff like that looks pretty good. So life leech, vitality damage, and we've got fifteen percent of attack converted health. Can use that. So getting some um, attack converted health is really nice. see yeah uh, in that fight you know we, we were upping our health um, as we did damage so this keeps us topped up nothing dropped which is a bit of a shame Maybe do a checkpoint. Uh, let's see what's up here. I think we'll just run through all these. Okay, so we're into the land of the Spider-Man. Tiger-Man, I should say. Spider-Man. is chasing us and we have a cave. No. There is a quest in here. And a boss monster at the end of the cave. So it's not part of the main quest line so you can skip it if you want. Let's, uh, let's go and uh, show you it anyway. Now, look, some of these eels in this in this cave are uh, pretty nasty. Um, they, they just drain all your energy. Not these particular ones, fortunately. Um, yeah, we're just going to run through those.
Let's try and lob, um, you know, shampoo onto any groups. Are they fighting? Does um, continual damage or a chance to do continual damage, um, you know, over its duration? So it's pretty nice. Just run through what we can. Uh, Got to be careful though, because you do have to make a stand up. You know, every now and then, and if you're facing too many monsters, you're gonna be in trouble. I oh, went the wrong way, though. Come down here. I think it's this is the right way. Oh, let's make a stamp here. I'm gonna move this chakra because we are surrounded. Let's go get a dive. Get it. Okay, that might be all right. Okay, no staffs. No, let's carry on then. We're going to clear our way from here on in, I'd say. I don't think we've got too far to get to the boss. Let's move the pole. Once we're trapped, I can't move. Come on. Okay, so we've got our Wraith Lord seal. It's very good for us. Nice for a pet build. It's got 37 left. It's a dead end. Right near the path. Let's grab that shrine of mastery. So the, the uh, mob boss is down here. We talk to this guy. He is the boss, so he is um, sort of a pirate ghost. But he's not too tough, so they're taking him down, but we get a loot orb, which is very nice. However, nothing special dropped, which is a bit of a shame. Again, that's bad for a pet build, so we will keep it and save it, but not for this build. So the sort of rings trinkets we want are ones that are going to give flat um, elemental damage. And preferably with some resistances and things. Alright, so that's it. Um, I mean, you can put this guy, but 
just um, cover the bubble. And yeah, we can just make our way back. We've already cleared quite a bit of it, but we can just run all the way back as long as we don't get lost. We're getting lost, go the wrong way. Under here, that's fine. Way, haven't I? Yes, you have. Mm -hmm. okay. No, not through there. Is there a way out this way? stuck. That's a dead end. Go up here though, okay, good. Ah, dropped. Alright, come on, next down. So when you're doing this, remember the way out. <laughs> so let's have a look at the map. So we're trying to get down here. It looks like you should be able to get down there, but I think we can. Oh, we can. I uh, died because I was looking at the map rather than at the screen. That's one quick way to get out of the cave. Not the way I recommend you do it, but it certainly works. Right, so let's crack on. I'm going to fight him because he's got a staff. He might have the stuff that I want. No, he hasn't. And again, he doesn't have drop the stuff either. Uh oh, I see now what have I done? Oh, I've pressed Y, lost my skill bar then.
can just run through uh, the farm and see the blue icon, sorry, the green icon, um, top of the screen. We know that there's some merchants there, so we want to try and uh, get to them. Because, okay, it's some sort of settlement or base. Now we can see a purple icon, so we know there's a portal there as well, even better. And here we are. So, tag the portal, visit the merchant, buy something. get rid of all the junk that we uh, don't want. Oh, we've got a Remember picking that shield up. Um, yeah, we don't want these. We're checking the these um, red coast helms. It's possible. Um, well, we would have to invest in strength to wear them, but some of the variants can be quite nice. You know, they've got good resistances. Um, yeah, it's random what else they've got. I don't think any of this is for us, unfortunately. I'll keep the uh, pet equipment because I might use that. So some other builds. Alright, the rest of it we are just going to keep. I need a break. And um, I think this is probably a good place to pause. So uh, let's do that. We will continue our adventures from uh, this place in the next episode. So uh, I hope you find this interesting and I will see you next time.